Everything starts somewhere. And for the Bulls, it starts here. This kid is something else. The speed. Run a while, young man. 67 yards on the first play from scrimmage. The power. Marlon Mack, look out. Excitement. Bulls go fast. Mack, end around. Flea Flicker. Back to Flowers. Deep ball runs and open. Touchdown, USA! The passion. Intercepted by Dietrich Nichols. And here he goes. This is where it all begins for USF. 2016 National Signing Day. Welcome to National Signing Day. We're glad to have you here. It has been a very good morning for the Bulls. There's still a couple of things in play, but right now it is a class of 16, and it breaks down to nine offensive players, seven defensive players. There are 13 freshmen. There are two sophomores. There is one junior. There are some big names. There were some pleasant surprises this morning, and all in all, it looks like another great recruiting class for the Bulls. We've got a full hour coming up exclusively here on GoUSFBulls.com. We'll hear from defensive coordinator Raymond Woody, co-offensive coordinator John Reeves, and we will also visit with the big guy, Willie Taggart. When we come back, Director of Player Personnel John Haskins will join us. We'll find out more about the process that led to another great USF recruiting class. Stay with us. Much more to come, including highlights of all the newest Bulls. Stay with us on GoUSFBulls.com. Let like John put him up. Let Haskins put him up. Come on, John, you put it. Hey, John, you put it up, man. Hey, yeah, let John put it up, man. Every single day. Every single day. Every single day. Every single day. No matter what. Welcome back. It was a lively war room this morning for the USF coaches. You saw a little glimpse of it a moment ago as the faxes started cranking up right at 7 a.m. Director of Player Personnel John Haskins with us. This is the culmination of driving and airports and phone calls and all sorts of work, home visits. I mean, you and the coaching staff have been working for months leading up to this morning. So I guess it's okay to have a lot of fun in that room like you did. You know, I think we want to have a lot of fun in everything we do. That's a, that's a trademark of everything that Coach Taggart's bringing to the table. A lot of juice, a lot of energy. Um, and, and along those lines, signing day is a big part of it. And so if we're not excited, they're not going to be excited. And I think we're very excited about the guys that we have in this class. And seem to play out as you expected. I mean, we always get the piece of paper that says what we think is going to happen. You guys were pretty accurate this year. Well, I think, you know, you're never done. And we're certainly not done. Even last year, you can look at previous years. We're, we're in the business of always recruiting 300, 365 days a year. Um, we, we brought in some transfers last year. That really added, it didn't add maybe to the ranking of the class, but actually added to the value of the class. Like Cecil Cherry, look at Austin Hudson and uh, Valdez Scatling. I mean, these are really exciting guys. And though they may not be on your rival scout 247 rankings, they're guys that'll be huge parts. They're huge parts already of our locker room. And they're huge parts of that recruiting class because they're new guys. How did it change for you and the staff when this team took off and went from one and three to eight and five? Well, I think, you know, it, it goes from selling hope. It, it's anywhere, but I think we're, we're, we're sitting on dynamite in, here in, in Florida. I mean, this is the place, been a lot of different places, been in California, Texas, Florida. This is where people come from all over the nation to recruit this state. And so we have a great situation for us loaded here. Um, and it's, it goes from transitioning from what you're talking about of selling hope to actually showing hope. 
Um, and not to only win to win games, but to every game systematically be a more impressive win than the next. Crescendo at the end there with obviously the Temple game, then on the heels of that, a 51 point halftime score in the Temple or in the uh, Cincinnati game, and then you know the UCF game where we may not even played our best ball and we, we just totally dominated your, your opponent and your, your rival. So it was a really good, it was a really good strong finish, seven of eight in and, uh, and every game. And people took notice in the state. And I think from the high school coaches to the players, our coaches went out in December and it was very well received, which was awesome for our coaches. Give me a couple of words to describe this so far 16 player class? You know, um, I don't know. I, I'm a little uh, long winded, so uh, it's hard to just summarize in, in a short amount. Um, I tell you what, quality would be the one that sticks out to me. Um, we're bringing in really good kids on and off the field, guys that we know, not just guys that are on the internet or guys that have nice highlight films, guys that have great game tape. Um, and just quality individuals often on the field. I think we know them. Knowing them well is not just knowing them as football players, knowing their families, having deep relationships. That happens or with continuity over time. It's hard in year one when you come in and you have two months to recruit. Now you've had two years, and the recruiting process for everybody is really that long. Now sometimes we get on guys late, but, uh, but it's, it's, a, it's a good situation where you know those guys from their sophomore year, continuity all the way through. That consistency, you can vouch for the kids that are margin. You can decipher who's good and who looks good. Congratulations, a lot of fun this morning. Great class, we're looking forward to getting them in. Well, we're not done, so keep, keep your eyes open. Good news, maybe we'll have something to break before this hour is over. Director of Player Personnel, John Haskins, stay with us. We're gonna go to the defensive side of the ball. Defensive coordinator, Raymond Woody, up next on GoUSFBulls.com. Welcome back to National Signing Day coverage on GoUSFBulls.com. We'll talk about the defense now. Defensive coordinator Raymond Woody. Coach, congratulations. Great class. You went heavy in the secondary. A lot of really talented defensive backs this morning. Yes, sir. Um, you know, with, with our secondary, you know, we, we're young, um, and we wanted to add some more speed and depth to our secondary. Let's talk a little bit about the defensive backs that came in. I know everybody is excited about Craig Watts, but it's, it's a good core you have there. Yeah, Craig Watts, you know, he's, he's a kid that uh, we really are counting on coming in, competing at the striker position. You know, he has the ability to play the run and also, you know, play the pass. I mean, he has an extremely huge upside. You know, he's a 4-4 kid who has all the tools and the measurables to be a great one for us. You went also with a couple of defensive linemen, and you get some experience there, some guys coming in after junior college ball, presumably, that can step in right away and help. Yes, well, you know, with uh, Jamal Ivey, um, you know, he's a elite talent, you know, long, rangy, you know, has natural bend. You know, we need a great pass rush, you know, after losing, you know, Eric Lee. You got Ladarius, you know, who also you know, is a, is a pass rusher type. And also Frank Johnson, you know, those two guys are from Hines. And then with um, Ivy, you know, he's from Butler Community College. Those two programs are really good programs, and we expect those guys to come in and play right away. So the overall class at this point, and as John Haskins told us, there's some issues out there. We may have some new names coming in, but four defensive backs, a couple of linemen, and a linebacker, so you hit some different areas. Are you happy with this class? I mean, you happy how it turned out? Ecstatic. You know, the guys that we recruited, you know, they're not just football players. You know, they're student 
athletes. You know, they do well in the classroom, great character, and also they have ability on the field. So we feel like these kids will come in and they come in good. You know, as a coaching staff, we're going to make them great. But we're really excited about the different positions that we brought in in this class. How has the transition been for you? You're a veteran on this staff, but you get new duties right in the middle of the recruiting process. I love it. I mean, every time you wake up, it's pressure. And uh, I'm, I'm really grateful for Coach Tiger giving me the opportunity to uh, continue the success on the defensive side of the ball with the Bull Sharks. How did this message of USF football change, or did it change, when the team took off this year and had such great success? Well, you know, uh, just looking at the kids we recruited three years ago, you know, we played uh, young guys and we knew, you know, going into year three, you know, those guys going to be seasoned and conditioned and, and really, you know, it's no surprise, you know, I went in with Coach Tiger's plan and uh, every year, you know, we got 1% better. Coach, thanks. Congratulations on a great day. We'll see you downtown in a little bit and then also in the Sun Dome tonight. Great job. Thank you. Defensive coordinator Raymond Woody joining us. Stay with us. Much more to come. We'll go to the offensive side of the ball next on GoUSFBulls.com. Once again, Tampa General Hospital is proud to be named the number one hospital in Tampa Bay by U.S. News & World Report and recognized as one of America's best hospitals in four specialties, cardiology and heart surgery, nephrology, orthopedics, and urology. Number one in Tampa Bay, again, and one of America's best, Tampa General Hospital. Trusted for our expertise, chosen for our care. Welcome back. Exclusive coverage of National Signing Day 2016 here on GoUSFBulls.com. All the highlight packages from our newest student athletes will be in our second half hour coming up in just a few minutes. Right now we're going to talk offense. Coach Reeves, boy, did you get a lot of nice <laughs> things under the tree this morning. Let's start with your quarterback, a dual threat guy from right here in Tampa, one of those Bay-made guys. Mm -hmm. you got to be excited mm -hmm. about him. Yeah, Chris Oladokun, obviously, right from right here at Sickles High School. Dual threat. He can, he can move the pocket and can, can really extend plays with his feet. So we're excited about Chris. He can make all the throws. So looking forward to working with him this summer when he gets here. Running backs, one Mac was not enough, huh? Yeah, yeah we got Mac. He, he's a powerful run, running back that uh, runs behind his pass with pads with great vision. And uh, just powerful when you see him as his lower half is extremely strong. And then obviously we have Sands, uh, that's a, a mid-year man that we signed last year that we ended up getting to come in this year. And he's already on our team right now. So Elijah Mack and Trevon Sands joining the running back core. Wide receivers. Mm -hmm. My goodness. We got a, uh, for some people at least, I don't know if it was for you guys, but for some people a pleasant surprise very early in the morning, a couple of minutes after 7 a.m., Devon Trez Dukes. Another local kid uh, joining the Bulls. Yeah, Trey Dukes uh, from, from Warden High School, obviously a big body receiver that, uh, that we've been battling for to, uh, to finally get here. And his family and, and him obviously came with the Bulls, and we're excited with him. He's a, another kid that can go up and play the ball in the air and, and make a lot of plays for us. And you also picked up Mr. Salomon, who uh, was maybe the highly, most highly recruited guy on the board for the Bulls. Everybody was after this guy, and he's coming to USF. Really is, and, and Darnell's just a tremendous young man. Our staff did a great job. Coach Tagger did a great job with Darnell, and he can do it all. I mean, he's that deep threat uh, that we're looking for, um, can really extend the field. He's got great hands, can play inside or outside. Uh, obviously a big frame with, with tremendous ball skills. So Darnell's is, we're extremely happy to have him as a bull. So everybody wants to talk about wide receivers, running backs, and quarterbacks, and they are important. But where you really loaded up was on the offensive line. And that's where the Bulls are going to have to make a little bit of a transition this year. A lot of really talented veteran guys graduated, finished their time with USF. So you went four deep on the mm -hmm. offensive line. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, four deep, like you said. Uh, the big one being Glenn Bethel that's a mid-year that will be able to go through spring practice with us. Uh, then we signed a couple kids out of Polk County that uh, you know we think are really going to be good players for us, Michael Wiggs and Lo Logan McDonald. Uh, they're just tough, strong, smart kids that uh, we're excited to have in this program. And then Christian Gaynor from up in the Panhandle is uh, just a big, long frame body, six foot seven, close to 300 pounds right now as a senior. So uh, we need those big guys. It starts up front, and uh, and we feel like we got four good ones. So this offense blows up this year: 5,700 yards, 54 offensive touchdowns. Was it just a case of everything coming together? What created this change offensively this year for the Bulls? Well, I think a lot of things came together. Uh, Coach Taggart did a tremendous job of bringing our staff together and, and, and obviously calling the plays. And, and uh, us, just the players believing in what, we're, what we were selling as coaches. And then, you know, we were, it was a work in progress early. And then about that Syracuse game, our guys really got it and exploded out there for, for over 40 points. So uh, it was fun to watch, uh, fun, to, fun to watch. We got some of those guys back. For next year and it should be an exciting year and it is the type of football that young men want to play That's i right. mean if you're a wide receiver and you want your skills to truly be shown you want quentin flowers to be throwing to you get the ball in your playmakers hands so uh as wherever those guys are we need to put the ball in their hands and, and let them uh, go make plays for us so it's, it's an exciting offense anybody can get the ball at any time and uh, we're looking forward to fun things this spring and then in the fall it's interesting though sometimes when you hit great success with young guys at the helm. You look at the, the big play guys offensively for the Bulls and there's, there's not a lot of upperclassmen there. Mm -hmm. That can be difficult sometimes on the recruiting trail to, to bring guys in behind guys that still have some miles in front of them with the program. That didn't seem to affect the Bulls at all though. No, you know, and, and Coach Tagger did a great job. You know, it's, it's not like we're starting from scratch. Uh, we only need a few pieces to put in place uh, on this offense and, and we felt like we got the, the pieces in place right now to, to make a run at it. Um, obviously, you know, we got to secure some spots up front, uh, but we really do have some skill guys, a lot of skill guys coming back, obviously quarterback coming back. So it's an exciting time for, for the USF offense. Going to be a great season coming up. Coach, congratulations. Thanks a lot. Thank you. We still have Willie Taggart coming up. We have all the highlight packages coming up as well. Stay with us. We're here till 12 noon today live on GoUSFBulls.com. Devontrez Dukes. <laughs> Once again, Tampa General Hospital is proud to be named the number one hospital in Tampa Bay by U.S. News & World Report and recognized as one of America's best hospitals in four specialties, cardiology and heart surgery, nephrology, orthopedics, and neurology. Number one in Tampa Bay, again, and one of America's best, Tampa General Hospital. Trusted for our expertise, chosen for our care. Welcome back to our exclusive coverage of National Signing Day 2016 here on GoUSFBulls.com. Head coach Willie Taggart is coming up later in our hour. We're going to do some of those highlights now and let you see some of the newest Bulls, a first group of five, Darnell Solomon, Glenn Bethel, Ladarius Jackson, Michael Wiggs, Armands Matthews. Welcome to the Bulls. Here's a look at those five newest players in the program.
There you have it, a look at the first five bulls. We've got about a dozen more that we'll have highlights for as our hour continues. Right now we got the big guy, Coach Willie Taggart. Coach, I thought the, the little clips we have seen of the coach's room this morning as the faxes came in, that just summarizes, I thought, what you want to bring to this program, the energy, mm -hmm. the enthusiasm, the fun. Mm -hmm. You guys had a great time this morning. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. You know, it's always exciting when you get those facts in. You know, you work so hard the entire year, and uh, it's so competitive nowadays. And with social media, it makes things a lot harder for you. So um, to, to finally get the facts in is very gratifying, and I think you can see that from our staff and the and in the meeting room today. And, and like you said, we want the excitement and the energy around. You heard uh, Ralph Emerson say that nothing great ever happened without enthusiasm. And we want great things to happen here. Ralph Emerson. Mm -hmm. That's pretty like good. That, huh? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Usually it's rappers that I don't know about. So you finally hit a guy I've heard of there before. That's great. Well, we look at this sheet of paper that uh, we get in advance and we get all the projections. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they're accurate, sometimes they're not. This one went, at least it seems, really according to form for your staff. Was that truly the case? Well, I tell you what, we, we got the guys that we wanted, you know, and, and guys that wanted to be here. And you look at the, the recruits that we have, I think it's only a handful that we, we got on board a little late, but a lot of them have been with us for a long time now, and, and that's a credit to our staff and, and credit to those kids that, that really want to be here, you know, because early on it was a little um, – I guess a little hesitant. Some guys were a little hesitant, not knowing what was going to go on here. And as the season went on, things got better, and and some guys are sure they're going to stay here. And then other guys got on board with us, and that was good to see. I asked some of your staff this question: Did your approach change when everything fell into place this season and and the wind started piling up, or was it the the basics of what you believe in and what you do all the time? Oh, we stuck to what we do. You know, we didn't change at all. Again, we want highly competitive, smart, tough football players here. And, and, and like I say, guys that want to be here, and we just kept recruiting the guys that we were recruiting and, and trying to fill needs that we need for our football program. And I thought we'd done a great job with that. Not a big class, but from a quality standpoint, one of the best uh, class we've had. Um, and I'm uh, really excited about the quality of players that we have coming in. And, um, looking forward to those guys coming and competing with the guys that are here now. And I think from day one, one thing we wanted to do is build depth. And I think when you see a really good football team out there, usually it's because they have some depth. And um, I think this class is really solidifying that for us. We expected you might have an emphasis on linemen and four on the offense, two on the defense. The defensive guys are, are JC guys who presumably can come in and help right mm -hmm. away, have a level of experience. So it seems like you really shored up and increased your depth on both sides of the line. Yes, and we needed to. You know, uh, We took a big hit um, this past year with guys graduating in both areas. So we needed to do a good job of um, getting some guys in the trenches. You know, and, and that's where it all starts. If you look at every other position, we're, we're pretty stacked there and loaded for the next couple of years and um, I think we all know it all starts down up front and we want to make sure we're good there year in and year out and really impressed with the kids that we have coming in. I think um, they're going to be studs here one day. Well if I'm a USF quarterback and I'm looking for guys to throw to and I got all the guys that are coming back, I got guys like Valdez Scantling who's going to come in for the first mm -hmm. time and I got the names you guys put up on the wall this morning. I'm pretty excited. There's some depth at wide receiver. Uh, if I'm the quarterback, I'm walking around campus <laughs> with my chest out. I'm ready to go into the classroom and tell the teacher to throw me a test. I'm ready for it right now. But, um, again, we're trying to fill needs and, and, and continue to build our program like we want it. You know, it, it takes a while to get it to where you want it. And, and I say with this class, I feel so much better. I think we're so much closer to where we want to be. And, and getting those receivers again we're we want to make it to where no matter where we put the ball at we got a chance to go and i think this year and with this class um we'll be closer to, to getting it that way signing days are always exciting this one might be a little bit beyond the regular signing day though coach congratulations it's a great class thanks for taking time for us we'll look forward to seeing you throughout the day hey, thank you very much and go bulls head coach of the bulls willie taggart stay with us highlight packages coming up as we continue on GoUSFBulls.com.
University of South Florida is a regional powerhouse with global significance, leading advances that are changing the world. Now a leader among the nation's universities in research, healthcare, and just being cool. The place where young men and women train to become the best. This is where the bulls run. Welcome back. It's National Signing Day coverage exclusively on GoUSFBulls.com. All sorts of information about our newest student athletes on this website. Also follow Twitter at USF Football. All sorts of inventive things there this morning telling you all the stories about the young men who have joined the USF football program today. We're going to take a look at another set of highlight packages now. Another group of five Bulls that signed this morning. Craig Watts, Frank Johnson, Devontres Dukes, Chris Oladokun, and Elijah Mack. Nice mixture of offense and defense and a lot of Bay made guys as well. Let's take a look at our second highlight package.
Really good look at five new bulls all officially signed this morning. On the defensive side, Craig Watts, very much sought after prospect. Frank Johnson, the transfer defensive lineman. Defontes Dukes was a wide receiver who came in very early. He was the third guy on the board just a couple of minutes past 7 a.m. And staying on the offensive side of the ball, Chris Oladokun is the only quarterback in this 2016 class and a running back. Elijah Mack. So the Bulls now have two Macks in the backfield with Elijah Mack joining the program. Again, the emphasis on local players. A lot of Bay made guys there, guys who are staying home to play for the Bulls. Stay with us. Much more to come. We'll take a break. Be back with more of National Signing Day 2016 right after this. Heading into our breaks, we're showing you a little bit of video of what it was like when the faxes came in and the names went up on the wall. Pretty enthusiastic coaching staff. We had a lot of fun here at the Leroy Selman Athletic Center this morning as those names came in. Class of 16 officially right now, nine offensive players, seven on defense. There are 13 freshmen, two sophomores, and one junior. 
Time to meet six more Bulls. We're going to go down the list of Andre Polk, Christian Gaynor, Trevon Sands, Logan McDonald, Josh Dunn, and Michael Hampton, our next six profiles for the Bulls Class of 2016.
Another good look at some of our new bulls. Logan McDonald, by the way, gets our annual Fast Facts Award. He was the guy who got his paperwork in first this year, right at the stroke of 7 o'clock. All right, we've got a couple more minutes to spend with you. When we come back, we're going to highlight some of the key guys in this class, including one surprise that came in early in the morning. That'll be next when National Signing Day coverage continues on GoUSFBulls.com. Let's take a look at some of the big time recruits the Bulls reeled in this morning, starting with wide receiver Darnell Solomon. This was a very sought after guy. You see great size, 6'3", 210, Miami Central High School, Scout ESPN and Rivals all have him at four stars. In fact, Scout had him as the 11th best receiver in the state of Florida. His offers included Auburn, Clemson, Florida, and Wisconsin. Played for Roland Smith at Miami Central. Central, was a member of the Florida Class 6A All-State third team. Eight touchdowns in his senior year, so let's look at Darnell Solomon. Great addition at a position the Bulls are really loaded at. Wide receiver Darnell Solomon joining the Bulls this morning. Let's go to the defensive side of the ball now and take a look at another four-star guy, Craig Watts. He was listed as four stars, ESPN rival scout and 247 sports scout. Had him as the 25th best safety in the nation. You see he's another Bay-made kid. He's from Admiral Farragut High School. Played for former Bull Ryan Hearn at that high school. Transferred from Gibbs and at uh, Gibbs he actually played for another Bull as well, Rick Kravitz. Seven tackles in the Blue-Gray All-American Bull. Florida All-State Class 2A first team as a senior. Craig Watts joining the Bulls defense. Good look at Craig Watts, one of the newest Bulls early this morning. The Bulls picked up another Bay made local wide receiver, Devontrez Dukes. He signed with the Bulls very early in the day. Three-star guy from ESPN and 247 Sports. Again, fitting that mold of a Bulls wide receiver. Look at the size, 6'4", 203. He's from Wharton High School, Devontrez Dukes, part of the class of 2016.
Vontrez Dukes, one of two wide receivers in the class. As we have said, there are still some things in the works, but right now it's a 16-member recruiting class, and here's how it breaks down. One quarterback, two running backs, two wide receivers, four offensive linemen, two defensive linemen, one linebacker, and four defensive backs. So nine on offense, seven on defense, and 13 of the 16 are freshmen. That's our recruiting class. Stay with us. Still more to come after this on GoUSFBulls.com. Once again, Tampa General Hospital is proud to be named the number one hospital in Tampa Bay by U.S. News & World Report and recognized as one of America's best hospitals in four specialties, cardiology and heart surgery, nephrology, orthopedics, and urology. Number one in Tampa Bay, again, and one of America's best, Tampa General Hospital. Trusted for our expertise, chosen for our care. Thanks a lot for joining us in this hour. Been a lot of fun around USF football throughout the day and still a lot more to come. Keep following Twitter at USF Football for all the latest on the official words on the signings. And we'll continue to bring you everything here on GoUSFBulls.com as well. We'll wrap things up with a special video. This is the 20th year of USF football. Season 20 begins in September. This will give you a look back on what it's been like to grow up with the program. Then you'll see all the names of the people who put things together and made this show possible this morning. Thanks a lot for joining us. Hope you're as excited about this class as we are. I'm Jim Lauk. We'll see you at the stadium starting in September. of South Florida football and Bulls fans have responded selling out Raymond James Stadium will have the opening kickoff from Tampa in a moment. Five but the turnovers have been killers. White he turns it over intercepted and it'll be a touchdown. Ben Moffitt. Murphy, how did he get away? Now he has man wide open. It is caught. Craig Mitchell, touchdown. The biggest game in South Florida history ends with the biggest win in the history of this 11-year-old Bulls football program. National Signing Day is right around the corner and it's time to find out where the best talent in the state of Florida will play the next four years of their football career. Now just how much of that talent will sign with USF and play for head coach Willie Taggart?
step. They've done it again. 